wait for me. I haven't really tried it. Uh... You never wait. I don't know if there's anything past this. That didn't work. Anyway, now the challenge is getting back up. <laughs> oh, great Skyrim! Oh, great, 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 great. I believe it. Matt. Matt. I don't trigger that. God damn it. I don't even know what it does. And I can't trigger it manually either. Oh, I can reach it. Those are pressure plates which I won't trigger. Even more. What's that supposed to do? Drop goop on me? Whatever. I already searched it. That's an awkwardly flat wall. Oh. Alright, that was a scripted thingy. Holy! Oh, so far. Yeah, my hoarding disease is getting better. I'm not. Nope. That was hard. No. How did Meh. That's not what I meant to press. I meant to select this thingy. But apparently this thingy is the door. Alright. Fair enough. Still rent the plate case. I was about to say. Meh. Hmm. Mine. Ha! Ah! I know what. Having two won't hurt. Uh, um, uh, not certain how you managed to get your hands on an item we discussed, but I'm more than pleased to thought you'd simply wait until, uh, until it was being transported from Castle Door to its final destination, but according to what I've heard, it vanished right from their armory. I wish I knew how you were able to slip by the guards, bypass their port... Bleh. Unlock the armory door and break into that dwarven puzzle lock chest. You need to uh, teach me that little trick sometime. I list your cut in the usual drop spot and might have another drop for you should. Right. Can't really read it and it's sliding away. Killing before I get killed, okay? Let's take all the books. What? Too heavy. Oh damn it, I should have dropped stuff off. No. 
think I have that. Uh, okay. Um, actually, that was not worth it. Now I did I look at it. So, uh, nope. Okay. Heh. I'll probably only get 800 uh, gold for that. Whatever. Fair enough, I guess. Right, my vaults. Wow, really? That's interesting. So dark. What? Alright. How could people not break into that? Yeah, I guess. Devin. You're not Devin. You're not Devin. Where's Devin? Devin. There you are. Cultural blog. Found this bust of grey fox. Worth anything? Well, well. I was looking for this little beauty. Alright. If you happen to cross any other unusual, must have come from Mercer's place. Yep. He'd admired the grey fox for some time. Sure, I'll buy from you. Here you are. 800. No, no. This is getting dangerous. Don't let him jump on you. I'll jump on you! Come on. Need to stay focused in case Frey comes back. Make it fast. Fire. Watch your face. Bring up. We scoured the town and I've spoken to every contact we have left. No sign of Mercer. Alright. Any luck on your end? Yeah, well, I got his plans. Uh, he wasn't there, but I found his plans. Shore's beard. He's going after the eyes of the Falmer? Right. That was Gallus' pet project. Okay. If he gets his hands on them, you can be certain he'll be gone for good and set up for life. Alright. Then we have to stop it. Agreed. He's taken everything the guild has left, and to go after one of the last greatest heists is just an insult. I've spoken to Carlia and made amends for how the guilds treated her. Now she wishes to speak with both of us. Quickly, we have okay. no time to lose. Alright. Until next we meet, Lon. Hey! Oh, I get it. These are like the little thingies that you find for uh, uh, Devin. Carlia said it was important. She like the little cube thingy? A little model ship, and at some point the uh, oh, now, Carlia said, Shut up, All right? Uh, Sydneyites, uh, all right. Oh no, here's a statue, derp. Heh, <laughs> lol. Okay, what is it? Brynjolf, the time has come to decide okay. Mercer's fate. Until a new guildmaster is chosen, the decision falls to you. Aye, lass. And I've come to a decision. Mercer Frey tried to kill both of you. He betrayed the guild, murdered Gallus, and made us question our future. He needs to die. Alright. We have to be very careful, Brynjolf. Mercer is a nightingale. An agent of Nocturnal. And it's all true. Everything I heard in the stories. The Nightingales, their allegiance to Nocturnal, and the Twilight Sepulchre. Sepulchre. Yes. That's why we need to prepare ourselves and meet Mercer on equal footing. Just outside of Rifton, beyond the southeast gate is a small path cut up the mountainside. At the end of that path is a clearing and an old standing stone. I'd ask you both to meet me there. Aye. I have some preparations of my own to make. I'll meet you at the stone. Alright. Alright. 
But before I do that, I'm going to clear out my inventory because it's full. Yep. So I'll be back once my inventory is inventory management. All right, I'm back. I manage my inventory and I'm at the stables of Riften. And there's Wyvern. Also, interesting fact. Um, while I was looking at it, so here, werewolf turns for days as a werewolf, 309, right? Days past, 315. So pretty much since the moment I started playing, I played for six days in game, and then I became a werewolf, and ever since I've been a werewolf. So wow, you can turn into a werewolf fairly early on into the game. Or actually, ridiculously early into, on into the game. So, had a little knowledge break and um, clear my inventory, and now we're gone. Don't know what the uh, big deal is with a wyvern. Alright, uh, where am I going? Probably the wrong way. Need to go that direction. Somehow. So, fair enough. Oh, 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 I, this I, Kashi sorry. Guards the others. I've been swimming here, perfectly safe. Your turn, Shadowmere. Be a submarine. Come on, be a submarine. Shadowmere doesn't want to be a submarine. Where? What I saw in a video once was like, uh, someone jumped off of a bridge with Shadowmere from a ridiculous high place landed into water and then Shadowmere was completely underwater so that's where I got like uh, be a be a submarine that's where I got that from can I grab anything no I believe it or not horses are actually quite good swimmers so you might think horses are not good swimmers but they actually are in real life <laughs> There we go. There's also a standing stone, which I haven't discovered yet. Uh, the quest is right there, isn't it? No? Hmm. Discover a cave. That's a deer. Fast travel points. Can never hurt. Oh, there's also a shouting wall. Oh, they are here. Well, fair enough. I'll get to the standing stone and everything later. Okay. Whoa. Well, my game crashed. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Yeah, okay. Now I had to restart the game after I crashed while trying to quick save, so I guess I cannot, cannot quick save here. Uh, what's the significance of this place? This. Is the headquarters of the Nightingales. Okay. Cut into the mountainside by the first of our kind. Okay then. We've come to seek the edge we need to defeat Mercer Frey. Okay. Uh, kind of edge a blade or something? If you'll follow me, I'll try to explain on the way. Okay. What this the? This way, please. Where was that noise? He's just ahead. Please, keep following. He's just ahead. Please. Oh, come on. I wanted Keep to talk following. to you, but... Uh, Alright. Oh, it's sort of hidden, I guess. Nope. Don't touch the microphone. It looks glowy. So this is Nightingale Hall. I heard about this place when I joined the guild, but I never believed it existed. The assumption that the Nightingales were just a myth was seeded within the guild on purpose. Uh -huh. It helped divert attention from our true nature. Okay. What's wrong, Brynjolf? You can almost hear your brow furrowing. Yeah. I'm trying to understand why I'm here, lad. I'm no priest, and I'm certainly not religious. Why pick me? Because you already... This isn't about religion, Brynjolf. It's business. Alright, fair enough. Hey, I'm ready. I'll actually run as well. This is Nightingale Hall. 
You're the first of the uninitiated to set foot inside. In um, over a century. First two, actually. No. If you'll both proceed to the armor to don your nightingale armor, we can begin the oath. Um. Well, I, I can. I don't have multiple pieces of ar uh, armor equipped, so. There's a whole ton of rings and everything. Okay. I think it's light armor, so... Yeah, because it's light armor, like, as you can see, like... It had 48 armor rating before. Okay, so illusion, lockpicking... Oh, 25%. Oh, makes my sword even more powerful. I already have that. And increases your stamina by 40, increases fossil resistance. Already have. All snap. All snap. All snap. I think we should trust the lass and take the deal. You appear ready for the end. I must see by This is enough to make your head spin, eh? Uh-huh. You appear ready for oh. the oath. Oh. oh. Oh my god, I look amazing. Oh my god, I look amazing except for the face, but Oh my good lord. Whoa! Although the mask is made for humans. <coughs> Whoa. Damn. Man, if I'm going to train light armor, because eventually I want to have every single skill legendary eventually, but this is the armor I'm going to be wearing. Oh my good friggin' wow. Ha oh. ha. <laughs> oh, can't even describe it. Damn, this looks awesome. Okay, lass, we've got these get-ups on. Now what? Beyond this gate is the first step in becoming a nightingale. Whoa there, lass. I appreciate the armor, but becoming a nightingale? That was never discussed. To hold any hope of I was moving my jaw because it was like muscle was like annoying and I uh, said knack. Uh, She's to accept you as one of her own. An arrangement must be struck. Er what sort of arrangement? I need to know the terms. Uh, yeah. The terms are quite simple, Brynjolf. Nocturnal will allow you to become a nightingale and use your abilities for whatever you wish. Alright, hold on. Hmm! Even more. And in return, both in life and in death, you must serve as a guardian of the Twilight Sepulchre. Uh, Aye. fair enough. There's always a catch. But at this point, I suppose there isn't much to lose. And death? It means the end of eh. Mercer Frey. You can count me in. What about Even you? a clause. Are you ready to transact the oath with Nocturnal? It's not really like I have a choice, so... I'm not sure I understand the terms. Actually, I don't really. By transacting the oath with Nocturnal, okay. you're entering into a business deal. Okay. You'll be provided all of the power and knowledge befitting a Nightingale. Okay. You're free to use those powers as you see fit. To right. further your own goals, or the goals of the Thieves' Guild. Okay, good. And in return? In return, you'll be required to defend the Twilight Sepulchre and okay. everything within when the need arises. Okay. More importantly, upon your death, your spirit will be bound to the Twilight Sepulchre oh. as one of its guardians. Um. Uh, well, I mean, I would like Sovereign Guard, I think. I mean, I could party! Party hard! But, uh, I guess... Once the oath has been struck, the terms are binding. Oh, goddammit. Knowing this, are you ready to undergo the ceremony? Well, it's either I do it, or I don't do it at all, and, you know... Okay. Good. After I open the gate, please stand on the western circle. Okay. Gotcha. I don't really know what north... Uh, okay. Uh, west is that way. I luckily have the thing on the top of the screen showing me where. We'll speak when the oath is complete. Yeah, okay. Open the door blocks. We should trust the lass and take the deal. We'll Open speak when the oath is complete. Open it. Time's oh. wasting, and Mercer's still out there. Let's get this show on the road. 
We'll speak when the oath is That's complete. not actually the western. Oh, actually it is. Because west is that way. East is that way. Okay. This is more north, actually. Eh, I guess. Okay. I guess something will appear there. I call upon you, Lady Nocturnal, Can't Queen move. of Merc, okay. and Empress Good, of Shadow. Good, I assume now. Hear my voice. Ah, Carlia. I was wondering when I'd hear from you again. Lose something, did we? My lady, I've come before you to throw myself upon your mercy and to accept responsibility for my failure. You're already mine, Carlia. Your terms were struck long ago. Okay. What could you possibly offer me now? I have two others that wish to transact the oath. To serve you both in life and in death. Alright. You surprise me, Caroline. This offer is definitely weighted in my favor. Yep. My appetite for Mercer's demise exceeds my craving for wealth, Your Grace. Revenge. How interesting. Yep. Very well. The conditions are acceptable. You may proceed. Don't tell me she's gonna die. She's I probably gonna die, ain't she? We accept your terms. He's probably gonna die. God damn it. To you as both your Avengers and your Sentinels. We will honor our agreement in this life and the next until your conditions have been met. Very well. I name your initiates Nightingale, and I restore your status to the same, Carlyle. Oh, sweet. And in the future, I'd suggest you refrain from disappointing me again. Oh, I'll make sure of that. I'll make sure of that. Don't worry. Alright, I guess. So I'm now even more powerful as Dragonborn? I mean, I've already killed Eldwain. I did get Eldwain's soul, by the way, but I did, did kill Eldwain. Now that you've transacted the oath, it's time to reveal the final piece of the puzzle to you. Mercer's true crime. Alright. Is that more? Mercer was able to unlock the guild's vault without two keys because of what he stole from the Twilight Sepulchre. The skeleton key. Oh! By doing this, He's compromised our ties to Nocturnal, and in essence, caused our luck to run dry. Ah. So, the key unlocks any door? Well, yes. But the key isn't only restricted to physical barriers. Okay. All of us possess untapped abilities. Okay. The potential to wield great power securely sealed within our minds. Okay, so I'll be Once even more overpowered. Once you realize can access these traits, the potential becomes limitless. Ooh. Uh, sounds like uh, no one should says it actually, but I mean someone is going to claim it. The three of us to keep, yeah. Because I mean you know the three of us, the guild. I mean they, anyone could take it. It's so, like what if someone new in a guild gets entered and like he's good and he turns wicked. Uh, you know what? Let's go. Through. I'm afraid that's impossible. Okay. If the key isn't returned to its lock in the Twilight Sepulchre, ah. things will never be the same for the guild. Okay, so we do have to leave it. As time passed, our luck would diminish to the point of non-existence, and whether you know it or not, our uncanny luck defines our trade. Ah. Uh -huh. First time I ever set out to return something. <laughs> Very true. In our line of work, it's quite rare we set out to return a stolen item to its rightful owner. Well, rightful, you know. Let's go. Before we depart, okay. Brynjolf has some business to discuss. I suggest you listen to How do you know? Him. But, uh, telepathy? I guess. Listen, lad. Okay. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. Okay. The leadership of the guild. Okay. Listen, lad. There's one last piece of business okay. we need to settle before Carlia and I had a long discussion before you arrived here. Okay. Thanks to your efforts, Mercer's treachery has been exposed. Okay. After we deal with him, all that remains is restoring the guild to its full strength. I'm seeing that as I'm a pretty result, much the sneakiest. We both feel that you have the potential of replacing Mercer as leader of the Thieves' Guild. Mm-hmm. And how about you? I've been at this game a long time, my friend. A long time. I've stolen trinkets from nobles and framed priests for murder. Heh! I'm good at what I do. Maybe even one of the best. 
but it's all I know. Huh. I've never been one to lead. Never desired it, never uh -huh. cared for it. Uh -huh. Don't want it. Uh, uh, well, I don't know what's that. Well, we have a bit of an errand to run before your coronation. Of so course. don't get sentimental on it. <laughs> oh, don't worry about that. I accept. Then it's decided. When this is all over and Delvin's contacts assure me that we've regained our footing in Skyrim, we'll handle the details. All right. Until then, we have quite the task ahead. We sure do. Let's go do it. I've been poring over the plans you brought us. And I'm convinced the eyes of the Falma are in the Dwarven ruins at Urkenthan. Easy. Carlia and I will meet you there. Prepare yourself, lad. This will be a fight to remember. All right. Sure. Guess we're not in this now. And some of what Carlia said is starting to make sense. Mercer may have damaged our reputation and raided our coffers, but this goes well beyond even his twisted form of larceny. All right. Old Delvin kept calling it a curse, and we all laughed at him. Looks like the joke's on us. Eh. You think it's, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna own his face, even though he's If you would have asked me that yesterday, I'd have said no. But now I think our chances have improved. Uh huh. Look, call me crazy if you like, but I trust Kalaya. I don't think she'd lead us down a suicidal path. Nah, probably not. Besides, I'd rather die with some of Mercer's blood on my blade. And spend the rest of my life regretting that I ran the other way. Yeah, yeah. Until it's like we meet live. It's like something like you really want to do it, but like it, it's not actually a bad idea, but it's not really a good thing. And like, should I do it? Should I not do it? You know, it's going to be a lot of fun when you do it. And I mean, like, not something like murdering people, but just something silly, for example. And like, you don't do it, and then like, you're going to regret that for a long time Sorry, because. Lad important things to do yeah we'll speak another time and like you just have to do it like if it if it has no harm for anything you should just do it like for example i was riding on a tractor and there was like a whole bunch of uh thristal or whatever you call it and like that stuff was like three meters high and i was like you know what i really want to drive over a bit of that so i drove over it and it's like it's what i'm saying right now is like really it's it's ridiculously silly like why would you use a tractor to drive over a bunch of plants I don't know, but it was funny, and I didn't destroy anything. I, you know, and I, I was driving on it for a reason. I was driving on a tractor for a reason. It's not like I stole it. I was actually, you know, supposed to be dri <laughs> driving it. But like, I was like, you know what? Why the freak not? So like, you know, and it was fun. And if I wouldn't have done it, I would have been like, oh man, if only I would have done it. Because now the plants have been mowed down, so now I can't drive over it. It's really like what I just said is like it's complete bullshit, isn't it? But oh, whatever. Like yeah, driving over a bunch of weeds with a tractor. Wow, that's really something you'll like regret if you don't do it. <laughs> what? But um, this armor doesn't give you a lot of protection at all. It does look freaking badass. It does look freaking badass. Oh my god! Ha ha ha! Anyway. Oh yeah, 48 and like 14 and stuff. Uh, because, because of my armor perks and everything, when I'm wearing cool heavy armor, I get like armor boost. But it doesn't count for light armor. Nope. And I wonder if I can unenchant the gloves because lock lock picking plus one hundred attacks. That's a that's a good combo. Especially the amount of points in it. Because I mean, thirteen percent or twenty five percent more one hundred damage. That's a difference. Uh, whippish. Yeah, she is like 10 points or something. Let's go to that standing stone and see which one it is. Oh. Oh. Because why am I here anyway? 
It is sort of close. Derpy sound. It's right up there. And I'll just right shot him I'll see if I can get up there in a normal way. And maybe I'll come across that shouting wall as well. Or... Mine. Mine egg!